So I was pleasantly surprised to know that the collab with Black Clover and Sesame Street worked out well because this one's called St. Elmo's Fire and that was a super corny joke, I'm sorry, but I am curious to find out what happens in this episode. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover episode 72. Wow, we're getting up there. This one's called St. Elmo's Fire. I am super excited. We're actually, it's only a few more episodes till we're already done with this opening. This opening ends on episode 76, according to my notes. So that's crazy to me. But uh, we have training with Mary Leona, Noel, Yami, Charlotte, Asta, Yuno, Leopold, and the rest of the <laughs> Crimson Lions. So I'm super excited about all that. Super excited to figure out where we go, what power-ups we get, and then to see like the Royal Knight like test, like the tuning exams. Oh, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm saying I'm already like fully invested in this arc. I'm already in there. So without any further ado, I say we jump right on in this episode. I am ready. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Link is always in the description for you guys. If you guys want to support me, and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, TikTok now, Twitter, and Twitch, all at Dapper Darius. Um, and then don't forget, uh, we have a P.O. box, guys, if you guys ever want to send me art, fan mail, anything like that. Info for everything is always in the descriptions guys let's hop into this black clover episode 72 saint elmo's fire let's go all right the yultim volcano trail a strong magic region yeah you really did yeah i shout out to asa but <laughs> what are you gonna do I'm saying, like, you can actually turn around now. That does happen. I keep thinking of Kurama. You gotta be on the brink of death. You gotta plunge yourself into lava? My fucking guy, fuck only, and I miss you, man. <laughs> My man is just gonna be struggling all day. You do? Anti magic. True. He's going through literally everything he's learned so far. And he's doing it very calm, cool, and collective. I love it. Doing a self-diagnosis. Ooh. Oh my lord. Now he's automatically zooming. But he can do it. He can actually transform on somewhat command. Oh, fucking Barula? He just fucking bull thrust. Yep, one horn bull thrust. Right through it. Black Asta. Very creative. <laughs> Elevino. Is that you know up there? Yes, it is. He's like, what the fuck? Has he seen Demon Asta yet? I definitely don't think so, right? Kalidos Brachium. Very impressive. I like her. He said, run? The female lion's the one that hunts. Yeah, you were able to switch? 
Hell yeah, that's what I love to hear. I sure hope so. Oh. Hella active during the day, completely dormant at night. There's Nero. I've never been in a hot spring before, but I've... I've always wanted to. Oh, does it come... Like erupting out at night? Now it fills up. That would be so cool to see at night. Oh, she can split them into two, right? Yeah, that works. Good thinking, soul. I'm not even going to say anything. Yes, but I must agree, Sol. How is Charlotte being the pervy one this time? I guess this is a, quite the show. She probably pictures her mom, yep. That's nice. Especially because she looks so much like her. It's crazy. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice story. Yes, give us some more info. Please, I would love to hear. Yeah, your family's a bunch of assholes, sadly. And they blame you for it, so. Wow. Wow, damn. The Steel Warrior Princess? Oh my god, she looks so badass. Yeah, hers, yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Now we're getting into the tough love, Marileona. <laughs> Yikes, I, mean, I gotta go. Surpass your limits. I'm telling you, she knows just what to say. They do that, I, I don't mean to pause it in the middle of, of her conversation, I'm sorry, Noelle, but they do that all the time with characters and shonens specifically that just make you like a character you've never met immediately and then like the characters they relate to. They show a character that you've known for a long time, aka Noelle, show a character that you've just met that already you have a good impression for, Mary Leona, and then the character that you just met knows a character that's very important to our main character's past, aka a lot happens a lot in Hunter Hunter. People would know G Jing out of nowhere, be like Jing, yeah. But I mean, it's just like it makes you want. I want to meet Aesir so bad, even though she's passed away, and I wanted to see so much of Mary Leona. Like, I just want a whole backstory of both of them now. That's what that's what this type of show does. Like sh shonens are so good at doing that kind of stuff, you know. Oh. Okay, I'll melt the cool right off you. You guys will pass out, turn to prunes, and die. That actually is cool. I would love to be hot and have just a wind to cool myself down, whatever with. Yami's a real one. Are we allowed to do that? Yeah, no, I don't know if I would risk it with them. I really feel like they would actually murder you. Even, the, hey man, he's right, a true man. Is this what it means to be a man? Risking your life to get a pervy peek at women? <laughs> Look at little Leo. <laughs> My boy Fuegolian. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I know, he would he would never do that. Same thing Mary Leona said to Noel. 
you got to surpass these people that you love, you know, that inspire you, motivate you. I don't know if this is the best plan, guys. Those fearless voices. Mud wall cliff. Now it's even higher. Don't back down. <laughs> oh, these guys are too much, I tell you. We just have a bunch of naked men <laughs> trying to climb a wall. Always oh, thinking of Sister Lily. And she wouldn't approve of such thing. He's a real one, though. The Hot Springs Training Camp arc officially finished. Well, that was the most interesting way they could have finished this arc. So that was quite the interesting way to wrap up the Hot Springs Training Camp. The next episode I'm looking is called the Royal Knight Selection Test. So we're in there and I am super excited. I just have no idea what's going to happen. It was some good training. We got some good motivation coming out from a lot, especially to surpass your limits, go beyond. Leopold's gonna surpass Wogolian. Noel's gonna surpass Aesir. I don't I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm sorry. It's either Aesir or Asir, something around the, along those lines. But that picture that they showed of her, the steel princess or the war, whatever she was called, that was so badass. It seems as if uh, was her specifically steel? It seemed to be like a liquid steel, like very similar to Nozel's, how his is like mercury, you know, which is very interesting. I'm curious about Noelle's just pure water. It's very interesting compared to their, her family's magic. Uh, but we had my boy Asta turn into black Asta for a little bit, you know, no real, con no real control, but the way he was able to visualize his own key and, and the actual energy of the sword flowing into him and he could see that just so we can channel it differently and, and initiate that transform is smart. I'm glad he is taking for a Golian's advice doing it calm cool and collectively because that's how I, I love that you know there are so many main characters in shonen where they just, it accidentally comes or that you know just happens to happen but no he was thinking about a way and he he made it happen kind of like Deku and my hero I love that you know Deku's a very smart cookie oh yeah I'm back at looking the picture of Noelle's mom it's actually crazy how much she looks like Noelle I cannot wait to have Noel be just amazing and badass and strong. I, I really already like Mary Leona for how, ah, man, that's so cool. She was the one who showed her that hot springs. Oh, man, I'm so excited for this next episode and what's going on. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like always, subscribe if you guys aren't. Check out the Patreon if you guys don't want to wait. Like I said, four episodes early. Over there, check out. Links are in the description. We have a P.O. box, all that. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.